Everybody was 3D printing. Hey guys, welcome back to another therapeutic unboxing video. Hmm. Actually, now that I come to think of it, maybe I should start a therapeutic unboxing video channel. Uh, nah, forget it. Anyway, today we are unboxing my XYZ printing Da Vinci 3D printer. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I know absolutely diddly squat about 3D printing. But I bought this here on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 150 bucks, and I've never had one, but kind of wanted one, so figured why not. So it is brand new. Uh, the people received it as a gift, decided they didn't want it or something. I don't know. They just had no interest in it. My cat might come join us. That's okay. Um, so I've, I've only opened the top this far just to make sure it was truly, in fact, unopened like they claimed, and it was, so... I'm going to unbox this here with you and we're going to go ahead and set it up and I'm going to do my best I can to keep it in the frame but kind of how I had to set my camera up here or my phone rather kind of limits maybe what's going to be shown on the screen but I'll do my best to um, keep everything in frame and then we're going to follow through the directions and see where that gets us. So first off we got a little guide here which is in English, which is a nice thing because a lot of times when you buy crap from China or Korea or, you know, anywhere over there, it's not in English or sometimes they have funny English, which I actually like when it says, uh, be sure pressing long time to turn on. I love that kind of English. So hopefully we get some of that in here. But anyway, we'll uh, address this shit later because that's not that important. That's just manual. Like, who needs that? when you're as qualified and skilled as I am in the 3D printing world. So we've got a power supply, which looks like it just uses a standard plug and whatnot. So I'm gonna set that to the side for now. And I can't really see what exactly I'm getting with this. So let's uh, go ahead and turn the camera up a little bit just to, while I'm doing this for you guys. And see what else we got in here. Uh, uh, sealed in there pretty good. So I've got what I presume is a drinking straw so that when you're printing, you can put this in a can of Coke and just leave it sitting down. That's my guess. And then we got some various cards. I don't know if they thought we were crafty and wanted to make some Christmas cards, perhaps. Set that aside for now. I don't think we need it. Um, I see a USB cable, which is like a regular printer cable. Um, probably going to need it. We get a spatula in case we're doing some plaster repairs around the house. Good to know. This is... Ooh, I don't know. I think it's possibly the head thing for putting let me grab my knife out here i think it's the print head so to speak i don't know what you actually call it the extruder head or something like i've watched a few videos on printing so basically an expert let's open this up and see what it is it is like that i don't know and anyway, we will sit that aside what else we got we got a nice piece of aluminum which actually works out really well because I did need one of those for a keychain I was working on. And we got a couple of cleaners for cleaning your pipe. Don't want to run around with a dirty pipe. So, and that one. Set those aside. And up here we got some of these. They look pretty fragile, so I'm just going to leave them sealed in their little bag for now. But I'm not really sure what the hell those are. Which is weird, because like I am an expert and all, so I figure I would know by now. So we can go ahead and get rid of this part. Uh, there's the big actual machine. We won't pull that out yet. Let's see what we got in here. The rest of that's empty, so it's just this. What do we have here? I'll get my knife out. I'm sorry if I got dirty hands. I just finished working. Uh, I'll get rid of that plastic. Okay. 
so we've got oh that's going to be where the filament comes out that's good looks pretty high tech and professional if you ask me set that aside and let's continue on to the next box of goodies what do we got here this is some filament i want to make sure these boxes are all the way empty we're not hiding anything in there chuck that to the side what do we get here we got some Oh, and it's fresh. It's vacuum sealed. Son of a bitch. All right, let's go like that. Mmm, smells fresh. Um, XYZ printing. Now, I did see something online with a little tiny bit of research I did about this. Um, I don't know, something about a microchip or something that makes it so that this, that you have to use their filament. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. Um, but you can buy something right from them to bypass and use other filaments. So we'll see. Get rid of that. Oh, baby. Here we go. Let's pull this out. Oh, shit. Be careful. There is this in the bottom of the box. Let's get rid of that. And what is this? Oh, this is like a protective case or something so that your kids don't get their hands stuck in it. I'm guessing. That's what it looks like. I'm not a fan of that. You just tell your kids to keep their goddamn hands out of it. Stupid is as stupid does. And if stupid sticks their hands in there, well, then I guess you're stupid. Anyway, let's continue along. It really looks like a cool coffee maker or something. Perhaps, oh, let me aim this down. Sorry, I'm not even bringing you guys in on the adventure here. All right, so we've got this box here, which is, I don't know, it's wedged in there. They should have gave us some directions how the hell to get this out. I don't want to break anything. Out. And then it says remove all four clips. So right there, there, yeah, the clips are in there. So we're gonna peel off. It's got plastic crap all around the sides. Let's pull all this off and see what do we got here. This is exciting. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna print off a uh, 3D. Well, of course, 3D. Um, jock strap cup and I will model it for you guys. We'll see how that turns out. Just figure it's the least I can do. It is the beginning of a new year. Try to give you guys something to look forward to. It says right there, don't even put your hand in it. So back to stupid as stupid does or whatever. Alright, let's continue. Um so this does have a self-leveling bed, as far as I know, which is good. I need a self-leveling bed, if you know what I mean. That shit's always crooked. It's, uh, it's always bent to the headboard. Um, gotta be careful, don't wanna get demonetized. Off some more of this crap. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing, which you can. Um, like, they definitely put enough of this blue tape on it. I'll tell you, actually, the blue tape's kind of cool. I don't even know what kind of tape it is, but it is nice tape. Okay. I think we got most of the blue tape off. So let's get rid of this piece of junk. Let's see, somehow we got to get these little tabs off on the inside and there's this thing hanging here. So let's see, like, does this open up? I'm just guessing, I don't even know. So here I am like pulling on junk and I don't know. Anyway, I'll take you off the mountain here and let's have a look around. Let's see what we got going on here. So it's got four little pull tabs that have to be pulled out. Oh, just like that. That was easy. 
wonder if they 3D printed those. Nope, that's injection molding. Oh, there's another one. Get that out. I don't know if we have to keep those, maybe when you're transporting it, one would assume. This is that thing, I don't know. That's gonna, I'm guessing, plug into that head. I gotta move my tripod here for a second. And then let's continue pulling these out. So, what do I gotta do, lift up or? I'll just pull out, maybe? This one's not coming out quite as nice. Let me get my right hand in there. My left hand is useless. Okay. That one's gone. And then one more. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we can move this over. Hopefully it's okay. Because it was blocking this. And... Ow. Can that go down? No. Oh, there we go. That came out. And you guys hold on just one sec while I take this piece off. Okay, yowzas, I got it off. So here we are. Now we got our first full look around. This is the XYZ printing, and it is the Mini W Plus, which means Wi Fi, so you can send it like right from your computer. And I haven't even done research. Maybe you can do it right from your phone, even. I have no idea. I haven't done that much research. But what do we got? We got a sticker right there that says release arm. I don't know if that's like release arm as in it's called that or it's saying to release the arm. Um, not really sure. So we'll have to, I guess, take a little quick peek in that manual. See what that's all about. It does have a little thingamathing there. So that's good in case we wanted one of those. Um, all right. Well, that's good. I think we've made real progress here. Now let's go ahead and get the manual here and we'll go over some stuff, I guess. Uh, hmm. None of those say assembly. So unpacking. Yeah. Good, 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 good. That's, uh, yep. Basically, we figured all that out. Oh, bed tape. I thought that was Christmas cards. Uh, only replace when the reusable re usable tape when it's worn. Filament spool ring. Oh, it's installed on that one right there. So that's good. What, does it only come with one roll? Hmm. Cheap bastards. Yeah, I guess so. So... Installing the extruder. Yeah. Powered off, place the extruder module that the fitting pins in. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to put you guys on the tripod while I figure this out. All right. Now, bear with me because I'm going to have to kind of read the manual as we do this. And once again, I can't really see what I'm recording, so you guys have to just kind of deal with that a little bit. But my guess is we gotta turn this towards us and then mount this uh, in like that. That's how it looks in the picture anyway. So there we go, that clipped in. And then it's got some little clips on the back, just like that. That is in. That is amazing that I've made it this far already. Wow, okay. Insert the black ribbon, yeah, okay, we already did that. And then we got a, oh, damn, my drinking straw. They want me to use it to go into that little spot up here. So let's get the drinking straw going. We'll cut it open again. Let's see. So, Drinking straw goes in here. And then it says, ensure it is tightly inserted into the port and then feed through the slot on the top. Okay, so 
that's tight now. And I can see that I believe this one is going to go right into this little doohickey right there. So, oh wow. I can already feel that jock strap getting on there. Okay, so we've done that. Then, you got to install the filament. Using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the securing screws of the filament spring roll. Oh, spool ring. I was going to say spring roll. That's like dinner. Um, okay, hold on. i got to go get a screwdriver. Okay, back at it. Screwdriver didn't sound fun enough, so we went with a drill. And... It says loosen, like, we've taken it off? I don't think so. Um, oh, sensor chip. Oh yeah, remove it, okay. So we're gonna pull this out. It's usually not as much fun, but do what you gotta do. Okay, so I guess I should be letting you guys read this too, but this is the chip. Okay. Oh shit. Like it really has got some news here to put on this. Okay. Pull that apart. Retrieve the filament spool and chip. Install the sensor chip. Well, it was already in there. Note the orientation of the sensor chip on the spool ring. Please refer to the step if the axle ring. Oh. Uh, yeah, like that was already in there. Um, yeah, okay. Well, they really screwed us over on those directions because that was already done. Um, that was a complete waste of time. Oh, and then we got to, I guess, put it back into the ring. Is there one side up or anything? Is there any indication somewhere? Nope. I'm going to go ahead and call it that it goes like this. And if shit don't work, then we guess we know we were wrong. Put the screw back in after we wasted all that time and effort. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, remove the side cover. By pressing down firmly at the center on the left side cover and pushing aside the cover. Left side cover. That's under here. So let's turn this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but pushing. Move the side cover by pressing down firmly at the center. Oh man. I don't know what the hell that means. Let's look in the light here. Yeah, push in the center and then pull out, I guess, like I'm doing it right. taken off the right cover I think so yeah that's there sorry guys I didn't practice this first so I got it to move a little bit this damn thing pinches your fingers on the other side you know right there push in the tab okay I didn't see the tab so forgive me for wasting 15 minutes of your life okay lower 
the filament spool holder on the left side of the printer until horizontal. That's this little part right here. Bow, bow, check it out like that. Okay. Place the assembled spool filament with the spool ring on the spool holder. I don't know why this is here, but I guess I'm going to leave it. I don't know if that was supposed to be there. Yeah, I think it was. So I think that just snapped off from being cool. I think we're cool. All right. That in like that. That looks about right to me. Oh yeah, see and I even by luck have the barcodes both facing out just like in the picture. Um, take the tip of the filament and insert it into the feeding hole. So stick it in the hole. Let's do that. Should have spit on it first. It's a little release arm. What's that? Oh, I don't. Maybe I'm not supposed to keep pushing. Um, press. Oh, press the release arm and push the filament all the way to the bottom so that the front end of the filament is completely inserted. I don't know which way. guessing that's it I don't know though it's in there like it's it's taut okay so what do we do after completing installation you got to download the program from the official website oh my god that's a lot of work what do you guys think do we just plug it in or no um Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe that's good. We got it set up. That's a start. I think we call that one episode because this is already 22 minutes. Because um, now we're going on to software installation. That sounds like a whole new video to me because then I can do screen recording or something. Um, we're going to register and then do updates and all that. So yeah, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download the software and then uh, I'll do another video printing off my jock strap. So that's it. That is the official unboxing and setting up of our XYZ printer, which is freaking amazing. Make sure that you do not stick your hand in there. Um, if your kids are stupid, I think you can use this if you want. I think that's what it's for. I'm not even positive. Um, I don't understand it, so. I don't know what else it could be. Hmm. I don't know. Like it doesn't actually seem like it goes in there. So maybe. I don't care. Anyway, I don't need that part. So tune in next time for an exciting adventure in therapeutic unboxing. And um, we'll get to print some shit. And... Other than that, I will say, like, first impressions of the machine, like, it actually looks pretty decent um, compared to some of the ones, like, you know, I was looking at on Amazon, because that's originally I was just going to buy one on Amazon, and then I was like, ah, oh, screw it, I'll check Marketplace, and, but, like, it actually looks like a legit piece of equipment. It doesn't look like just a couple of bars taped together, and, you know what I mean? It actually looks official, so... Yeah, any questions? Um, I am an expert, more or less, so go ahead and you can ask, and we will continue on with this uh, little project. So thanks for watching, guys. Please click the like and subscribe button. You know you had fun. If you made it this far, you've enjoyed it, so you might as well, and that way you can be sure to come back for number two. All right, see you guys later.